Hey, welcome back to the bathroom model in today's video installing the vanity in the and the toilet um, but first some smarter not harder things all right I'm using the stud finder to remark all my studs with some blue painters tape uh, that way when I reinstall the baseboards I can get the finished nailer into studs I also marked uh, the studs for the screws to install the vanity, the mirror, and for the cabinet above the toilet. So I got a new toilet and faucet lines, um, but before I do any of that, who knows what kind of dirt and debris and junk fell inside all these water connections. So I'm just, I saved the old toilet line, and I'm gonna hook that up to all three and flush the lines, or flush the fittings uh, into the bucket. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and install the faucet on the sink, get that all tightened up, get the lines, get everything hooked up so when I drop this in the vanity, way less work I have to do under the sink. Alright, I sanded and restored the finish on all the baseboards. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install these two walls. Uh, the one here will need cut and here will need cut to fit around the vanity. Um, so once the van is in, I'll find it. finish those two pieces, but I'll put the two big pieces in first. Two base parts are in. Time for the vanity to come in. This wall is pretty straight. As you can see, this one's not. So I'm going to have to get some shims to level the vanity and screw into these two studs. All right, two, two and a half inch construction screws into the studs with the, just made a few wood shims. And I think those two screws in the studs, plenty, this thing doesn't move nice and level. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the knobs on. Easy way to uh, <laughs> spruce up your cheap vanity came with these cheap stamped metal silver knobs. I've picked out these for a few bucks. Nice solid black knobs, so. Let's get these installed. All right, 100% silicone all around the edge of the vanity. Gonna go grab the sink and drop it in. I already installed the faucet, water lines, and drain piece. So that'll drop right in. Let's go grab it. Sink is in. Uh, came up with one of these pop-ups. So now that's installed. So just gotta go under and hook up the two water lines and the P-trap drain plumbing. The plumbing's done, so use the one-on-one -on -one corner Oatly P-trap kit, which is the pipe coming out of the wall, this pipe. And I had to use a six inch tailpiece extender to go to the sink drain. Let's cut the water on. Now with my light you can actually like see the water flowing through the trap in the air pocket. That's kind of cool. Alright, don't see any leaks from anything. I usually set a paper towel down and wait a day or two just to look for any drips. But looks like this is done. Oh, and I removed the aerator from the faucet. So I'm gonna flush out everything again and I'll put the aerator back in. Sink is done. I reinstalled that aerator. Tested everything, the pop-up drain works. Um, I'm not caulking around the edges because a future project I will be installing some uh, tile backsplash. But, so that's done, let's move on to the toilet. I've already installed my flange bolts. The only thing extra I do here is I always add extra washers to the top and bottom before I tighten my studs. Um, my flange was warped so I added a shoulder washer and an extra screw to level my flange, that's all good. Um, also this is a 12 inch rough in for the toilet. I put my 
studs 12 and a quarter i always go an additional quarter inch because i hate when your tank's like rubbing up against your wall damaging your paint so i get a little quarter inch gap off the wall but let's go ahead and start the toilet install bowl is installed and seated on the wax ring the tank is on and now i'm going to attach the tank first with the supplied wing nuts and washers get the tank situated on the wall how i want before i install the hardware for the bowl so i tightened both the tank bolts a little by a time till i got my uh, tank level and i situated it so i had an even gap on the wall side to side so now it's time to install the bowl hardware. All right, so first the plastic piece that holds the cap, then the washer, then the wing nut. You always want a piece of plastic under this porcelain anyway. You don't want this metal washer. So this plastic piece does two things. It distributes the load um, of the clamping force on the porcelain and it holds the, the cap on and I'm just gonna go like it got snug and I'm gonna go like a half turn pass for now and that's it bowl is on hand tight on those wing nuts don't use tools on that stuff let's cut in the water look for leaks here no leaks there let's go check up top so the tank filled up and stopped which is good the bowl has water in it I've already flushed it a couple times checked all in here for any leaks between the bowl and the tank everything looks great so let's get the lid and the tank lid the toilet bowl seat and the tank lid on and we'll be done as far as uh, toilet seat hardware goes this one looks pretty legit so it's got a rubber gasket on the bottom uh, the nut or bolt, a washer, an inner lock nut with these I don't know, collapsing bottom parts and an outer lock nut which should clamp this down on the, on the bolt to ever keep it from coming loose because if, <laughs> if you know toilet seats come loose all the time and it's super annoying so looking forward to see how the uh, this hardware plays out on this Glacier Bay uh, Pro Series Dual Flush $100 toilet very nice So we got a toilet, seats on and centered and tight. And it works. Feels awesome, got a working toilet and new vanity and sink. Uh, nothing leaks, so good to go there. Uh, that'll wrap up this video. Um, so in the next one, we'll get all the rest of the other stuff installed and do like the final reveal. Thanks for watching the series so far. Be sure to stay tuned. All right, bye.